Hello student, we learn about what is meant by dimensions. The dimensions are the powers to which the fundamental units are raised to obtain the unit of the fundamental unit of that physical quantity are called dimensions. Then find out the dimensions of impulse. The physical quantity impulse. Find out the dimension of impulse. Impulse is equal to force into time. Force into time. Force is equal to dimension of force is L1 M1 T minus 2. In previous lecture, we find out the dimensions of force. Multiply by time means T raised to 1. Then, dimension of impulse is equal to L1 M1 T minus 1. That are the dimensions of impulse. Now, we find out the dimension of momentum. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Momentum is the product of mass and velocity. Where mass and velocity. Dimensions of mass, m1 and velocity. Velocity is distance upon time. Means L1 T minus 1. Then dimension of momentum is M1 L1 T minus 1. Now we can find out the dimensions of work. Next quantity work. Work is equal to you know about when work is done when we apply force and it gives the displacement then work is done therefore work is equal to force into displacement force into displacement then force dimension of force L1 M1 T minus 2 then displacement means distance is L1. Therefore, dimension of work is equal to M1, L1 and L1. Law of indices 1 plus 1, 2. T is to minus. M1, L2 and T is to minus 2. Next physical quantity, energy. Capacity to do work is known as energy. Therefore, energy is equal to, for example, kinetic energy, potential energy, that the energy is mv square. Find out the dimension of kinetic energy is half mv square. Half is a constant, therefore it has no unit, no dimension. Mass. M1 and velocity square. Velocity is distance upon time means distance upon time bracket square means L2 T is to minus. Therefore dimensions of energy M1 L2 T is to minus. Similarity of dimension of work M1 L2 T is to minus and energy has also dimension M1 L2 T raised to minus 2. Hence, work and energy. Work is stored is in the form of energy. Therefore, work and energy have same dimensions. Work and energy have same dimensions. Similar, impulse and momentum. Impulse and momentum. Having same dimension. M1, L1, T minus 1, 
where m1 l1 t minus 1 impulse and momentum have same direction mala question paper madhe hi amar question vichara jau shakta mcq impulse having the dimension l1 m1 t minus 1 and given the physical quantities are having same dimension of impulse momentum velocity acceleration and force these are the options given and find out the correct option therefore impulse and momentum have same dimension similar work and energy have same dimensions now we can find out acceleration energy potential energy is formula is also mgh therefore its dimension is again m1 l2 t raised to minus next physical quantity angular velocity angular velocity angular velocity is denoted by omega omega is equal to velocity velocity upon time velocity upon time or velocity upon distance sorry velocity upon distance means omega is equal to v upon r distance is denoted by r and v is denoted by velocity omega is denoted by angular Velocity. Velocity. L1 t minus 1. Velocity has same value. The dimensions. L1 distance upon time means L1 t minus 1 upon again R means distance is measured in meter. Therefore, length raise the power is 1. 1 and minus 1 is 0. Therefore, omega having dimension there is no mass therefore m0 l1 minus 1 is 0 and t minus angular velocity having the dimensions m0 l0 t minus 1 these are the dimensions of the given physical quantities and of the dimensions of given physical quantity impulse and momentum have same dimension work and energy have same dimension and angular velocity it's it is the ratio of velocity upon distance means v upon r therefore its dimension m0 l0 t minus 1 the unit of angular velocity the unit of angular velocity there is only time required therefore its unit is radian per second means omega when the object is moving in a circular motion it displaced from its position a to b then that displacement is gives theta is angular displacement and may be displaced with the angular velocity omega therefore and its radius is r therefore omega is equal to and omega is equal to linear velocity v upon r therefore omega is equal to angular velocity is equal to v upon r and making an angle with theta theta is measured with radian hence it unit hence its unit is radian per second but radian is a supplementary unit. Radian is a supplementary unit. Therefore, it has no dimension. Therefore, m0, l1 and t is to minus 1. Then similar, work and energy. Energy is measured in joule. Work is also stored in the, work is also, it having also unit joule. Therefore, work and energy having same dimension and same unit. Impulse and momentum. Impulse, its unit is mass is kg meter per second. Momentum unit is they having same.